Okay, y'all, this is my setup. So, this is one of the 10 pound buckets. Y'all see that? I'm gonna bring it in so y'all can see it. So, y'all saw the clean ones. I wanna show y'all what the bucket looked like. And when you're cleaning it, I'm gonna bring y'all in so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, when you clean it, this is that membrane thing I was telling you about. This is some more of it. This is actually a chitlin here, y'all. Look, I put in the wrong thing. <laughs> but that's a chitlin. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so anyway, so, and then you have this is all the foreign particles that's in there. And uh, that's fat. Um, but this is what that the, the stuff you pull off looks like. And actually, this is not really dirty. It's not. This here, I didn't want to fool with it. That's actually a piece of chitlin that was pulled all apart. I just said, forget it. But anyway, all this, this is a 10-pound bucket of whatever what I'm going to throw away. So this was 30 pounds, but I got 10 pounds here of what you're going to throw away. So you got to remember that. So I'll be back. I'm too far up. But see, as you pull that piece of membrane down, you're actually pulling it off. Now you can buy these, they say they're clean, but they are really not clean. You have to go through and do just what I'm doing now. I have found, this is the Smithfield brand. These are some of the cleanest I've had. I haven't bought the ones in the bucket in a while. But these are really not that dirty. But you saw what I had, it wasn't that dirty. So, all the way down, this one was easy. It didn't tear, but all the way down, I pulled that little piece of membrane out. And just about all that foreign stuff is on there. Okay, now I put it in my bucket. And I'm going to show you. And I hope you can see this. Um, what it looks like. See all that was on there is foam. Now I'm going to tell you all something. That's why I don't put regular black pepper in my chitlins. Because if I see something black in the corners, I'm going to think I'm missing in the dirt. <laughs> so I don't put black pepper, I just use stone and seasoning. And I got some white pepper when I use that. So that's how you clean it. See this one? A lot of them were like this. See, that's not even that dirty. Can y'all see that? Bear with me, y'all. It's late. I'm tired. You can tell I've been working my hands and even turn white. Well, Ashley, from being in water so long. But see that? When you get to that membrane, You'll be able to pull all that off really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all how I get it started. How I cook them. Okay? Do that. This is what's left after they've been cleaned. All the debris removed. Thanks again. Do. I'm not starting off with okay. that. But you're going to keep, continue to wash until your water is clear. This is how I do. And the reason why I'm kind of like doing the rubbing, so if there's anything on there, I want it to come off. Like I said, my eyes are bad. You may have 2020 20 x-ray, mine not. So that's why I do it that way. And then I kind of squeeze because that leaves really bad water on that side. But this is my favorite first wash after completing them. It took me probably about six hours to clean these because I literally go through every inch of each one. Again, if I miss anything, that's why I'm rubbing. Chances are loosen up. Remember, I took the membrane off. Now, you will have a few pieces that may be a little discolored. That's fine. 
If you don't like it, remove it. I know it's clean. Now, if it's black as me, I don't, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and pinch I'm showing you what I do. Take it. Rub it. Taking out the excess dirty water and leaving it here. And I'm going to show you what I've picked up since I've done this. Let me show you. This little piece here was in the water. May just be something I put in the wrong spot. Let me finish. I'm going to come back. Each side you put them on, you wash. Wash. Okay, y'all want to see all this? I bring out back. Hold on, I had a little thing for my camera. Hold it. Okay, so this is the second full water wash, and this is I've added the vinegar. Um, I'm gonna let them sit here for about ten minutes. And I'm going to cover them with a paper towel. Just because I don't like to have my food on cover. I know it may sound a little weird. But I'm going to cover this up. Let it sit. No, this is not my final wash. I probably wash it about 10 times. More than I do my greens. And I wash my greens a lot. See, you want to check. Because this is probably something. No, this needs to come off. Just a little strip though. See. Usually though, your little foreign things actually float to the top. Because this is what I was able to pick up. But because you got all that water, it floats to the top. That's either probably something I got off from doing that little rubbing that I did. Or something maybe that I missed. They put in the wrong bucket, but it, it came up to the top. So. And when you get through, if you do this, when you get through, you want to sanitize. I got some Clorox wipes. I'm going to use my palm olive and my Clorox bleach. And then when I get through, that towel I use is going in the dirty clothes. I'm not going to reuse that towel. So that's what we're working on now. When I come back again, it's going to be my final wash. And I'm going to put you, let you see how I do it for the, um, how I do it. I'll be back. Okay, this is after the second wash. We're going to do another one. We're going to add vinegar just a little. Again, don't add a lot. Because if you add too much, you're messing up. Be back. 